What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple just released iOS 11.2.5 beta one, just a couple hours after releasing iOS 11.2.1 to the public. So this is a very odd release schedule for Apple, both the time and the actual version number. So we went from 11.2.1 to 11.2.5. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are confused by this whole update and this firmware number and things like that. So we're gonna talk about that here in a second, but first of all, let's take a look at the size of this update. So you can see here it came in at 2.14 gigabytes here on my iPhone 8 plus, but of course, that size is going to vary depending on your device and which version you came from. And as you can see, all it says on the release notes right here is that it contains bug fixes and improvements. So let's go ahead and check out the build number. And you can see right there, the build number is 15D5037E. So it is a long build number, which does usually indicate that we will have multiple beta versions of this release. Now, I can't imagine that we'd have very many betas of a point release like this. So we'll probably have maybe two or three betas is what I would imagine. So let's go ahead back and take a look at what's new in 11.2.5 and talk about what happened to 11.2.2 through 11.2.4. Now, first of all, I wanna say that Apple still could be releasing these versions. They could just be coming out as public releases and not beta. So this version right here, 11.2.5, is gonna bring more changes than those three versions, which is why they won't need beta testing for 11.2.2 through 11.2.4. Now it's also likely that Apple's just leaving room for themselves to fix small bugs. And you know, nobody can really be sure exactly why they skip these versions. There's multiple reasons and multiple possibilities as to why Apple did this, but it could also be to just leave room for themselves in case they need to release like an emergency fix or just other small minor fixes that may come up later on. So once again, it's not very clear as to why Apple actually skipped these versions, but it could be for a number of reasons. So now what's actually new in 11.2.5 beta one. Now, the first thing people noted is that 11.2.5 brings faster animations for all applications, uh, you know, in comparison to 11.2.1 and 11.2. Now this could be the old placebo effect. You know, it may not actually be quicker, but they do feel a little bit smoother. I don't know about quicker. They feel a little bit smoother than they did in 11.2.1. But once again, this could very well be just the placebo effect. Now, another change in 11.2.5 actually comes comes in the music application. So if you go ahead and open up the music application, you're gonna notice down at the bottom now that we have a tab for where the music usually is playing. And it actually says not playing when no music is playing. So it did not say that before. There basically just be no bar there at all if nothing was playing. But now it actually has the bar down there that says not playing. And if you go ahead and tap on it, it brings up the screen right here, which says not playing doesn't really make sense to me. I don't really like this feature. I'd much rather just be gone and not be there if nothing's playing, but that is a change here at 11.2.5. So that's pretty much it for 11.2.5 as far as changes go. Again, you know, maybe it's placebo, maybe not, but some of the animations do seem to be faster here on 11.2.5. Then we do also have that not playing tab down in the music application. And then I'm sure there's some other minor bug fixes in the background, maybe some security enhancements and things like that, that we cannot see or that are not noted inside of the release notes. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for 11.2.5 one let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below let me know if you did update to it or not again if you are looking to jailbreak definitely avoid this and make sure to downgrade to 11.1.2 as soon as possible but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon